By now you've probably heard something about changes coming to how real estate agents get paid. The National Association of Realtors, NAR, has proposed a settlement that's been the talk of the town, sparking a mix of confusion and curiosity. So I thought I should provide some insight on what's real about the recent headlines. Here's what you need to know in a nutshell. First off, the settlement preserves the seller's right to compensate the buyer's broker, keeping long-standing practices intact. A notable change is the mandatory buyer representation agreement for buyers working with NAR-affiliated agents before property viewings. This move towards transparency aligns with what several states have already been doing for years, ensuring clear buyer-broker relationships. Amid claims that sellers might pay less commission, it's essential to consider local specifics like Martha's Vineyard's 2% land bank fee, paid by buyers at closing. This could influence negotiation strategies, with buyers potentially asking sellers to cover either this fee or the buyer's agent commission, affecting the deal's financials. At the O'Hanlon Group, we see these updates as opportunities to elevate our service and adhere to the professionalism we're known for. Committing to fair compensation and transparent communications, we believe the introduction of buyer representation agreements will only enhance these values. Real estate is about relationships and trust. We're dedicated to navigating any changes with you, ensuring that our high level of service continues without a hitch. Questions? We're here to clear the air and help you through.